Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we're going to be taking a look at my top five favorite Cydia tweaks for Notification Center. All right, so before we get started, because we are approaching the beginning of August, I just wanted to get another top five Cydia tweaks video in for July. And again, like I said, this one is a list of my top five favorite Cydia tweaks for Notification Center. Now, all five of these add-ons and tweaks are available for free inside of Cydia, just under the standard repos that you get once you jailbreak. All right, now without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first one you will notice immediately when I bring down Notification Center, it is blurried NC background or blurry notification center background. Now, in my opinion, this makes notification look much better than stock. Let me go ahead and just show you guys some of the settings found in the settings app towards the bottom under blurried NC background. So first of all, right on the top, you have the option to disable the tweak if you don't want it on. So let me just go ahead and quickly disable it to show you guys what it looks like stock again. So there we have it stock and let's go ahead and uncheck that toggle so we have blurried NC background on. Again, this is what it looks like. So it takes whatever's in the background of Notification Center and it makes it blurry, hence the name blurried NC background. So there are a couple of settings you can change for this tweak. And let me tell you, once you get it right, it really looks great. Now the option to actually turn off blur or to set the blur value down comes into play when you use it in conjunction with the BG tint color or the background tint color. And I'll get into that in a second after we go over some of the blur values. So when we turn it down, you'll notice that you can easily make out the background. However, when you turn it up, it's quite the opposite. So really it's up to you where you want to leave your blur value. I just like leaving it more towards the middle or more towards the lower end of things. So you can at least kind of make it out so it gives you that really nice effect. Also, as I mentioned, there are color tints. So for instance, you can go anywhere from black to let's say yellow or magenta. So it's really up to you. Let's go ahead and just set the dark gray tint and we can increase the tint. As you can see here, now we have that dark gray effect. While you can still somewhat see the background, again, you can change the color opacity here to make it less noticeable or more noticeable, depending on, again, your preferences. And like I said, again, you can set all these different colors. Let's just go ahead and set magenta just to take a look at it. This tweak, in my opinion, is absolutely amazing. It makes Notification Center much more elegant, in my opinion, and overall just better to look at. All right, now that we've gone over the first one and probably one of the more notable tweaks in this video, let's actually get into the rest of these. And these are more just add-ons to Notification Center. However, they work extremely well. Now, the first one is Notification Shower. You can tell right here up at the top down below the weather, it does have just a blank area. And this is actually really great in my opinion. So basically what it allows you to do is add notes to Notification Center. And it works really well with blurry NC background. So let me just go ahead and type up a quick test note. All right, there we go. As you can see right there, it says this is a notification shower test. Again, it works very well. However, when you start to go over the maximum amount of characters that can be shown on the screen, it does get somewhat annoying, but this is just for simple notes. Now, the third one is Omnistat widget. This doesn't have any settings to configure. All you have to do is go inside of the notifications portion of the settings application and simply add it to Notification Center. And then once it's added, you will notice it instantly the next time you bring down Notification Center. All right, what you get on the first screen is actually an overview of how much RAM you're using, which is incredibly helpful to determine if applications are loading slow simply because the application doesn't work properly or because you're actually starting to run out of free or available RAM or memory. So this does a great job of displaying memory usage and helping you manage things, but it doesn't stop there. It also has additional options. Let me go ahead and just swipe over to the right really quick. All right, as you can see, actually over here on the right, it displays your device's UDID or unique device identification and you can copy it from there. And over to the left of it, it displays the different processes that are running in the background. Now, upon actually swiping further to the right, you have some additional options, such as the ability to actually cancel or kill everything running in the background. Now you get one other thing when you swipe right, tells you if you're plugged in, and it provides some additional information to the left. All right, next up for the fourth tweak is We Close Apps. Now this is basically what it sounds like. It gives you the ability to close applications inside of the Notification Center, but 
but it doesn't stop at that. Let's actually go down to the settings for we close apps inside of the settings application. So you have the option to configure how it actually slides and what it does. Let me give you a quick example of that. So depending on how far you slide it, it will do different things. So let me show you what I mean by that inside of the settings portion again here. So when you move it to the far right, you have kill background. When you move it to the middle right, you have close app. When you move it to the middle left, you have kill app. When you move it to the far left, you have kill background all. So close app simply closes the current app. It's still running in the background and you will still be able to open it up to its current state. Kill background kills all of the applications running in the background. However, it leaves the application that you're in still running. And the very last option is kill background all. Now this kills all of the applications, including the one you're currently in. Now this is also good for memory management. So I'm going to go ahead and give a quick example of this. If we were to slide just to the middle right here, it will close out of the settings application. However, we can open it back up to its state because it doesn't close out of it in the multitasking bar. Now if I were to bring it down again and simply slide it to the middle left, it will completely close out of the settings application. Let's go ahead and do that right now. And as you can see, if I bring up the multitasking bar, it's no longer there. So let's go ahead and open up the settings application. As you can see, it did reset itself, so we have to navigate back to wherever we were. Again, this is helpful for memory management. All right, finally, we have NC settings. You can configure this inside of the NC settings portion of the regular settings application. Let me just give you guys a quick example. So bringing down notification center here, we have NC settings towards the bottom, and what it'll allow you to do is actually toggle different things. So as you can see, I just toggled my Wi-Fi off. We can also toggle sound. It gives us a really nice slider here. Going back, we can do brightness. I mean, we have a ton of different toggles for NC settings. And let me just go ahead and close out of Notification Center to show you what we get to actually change here. So we can change the toggle order very easily. Let's go ahead and just bring airplane mode up towards the top more simply by grabbing it towards the right and moving it up. So as you can see, now we have the ability to toggle airplane mode towards the far left and obviously it does work properly because now we are in airplane mode. So like I said, NC settings works great. It gives you a ton of different toggles and it just works and it's as simple as that. Basically just like all of the tweaks I've mentioned in this video. So of course, if you liked it, be sure to rate it up. Leave any comments you have down below in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to be updated more often, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.